Besides the National Stadium, many of us know that City Hall is the other staging area for our National Day parades. But how many of us remember that this place also saw the start of a procession that led to the worst racial riots in our history? It began peacefully enough with a rally to kick off celebrations for the marking of Prophet Muhammad's birthday. But as the participants made their way towards Kala, something went terribly wrong. Inje Othman Wok, who was leading a contingent on that fateful day, recalls. We were walking along this road when you heard some commo commotion happening in front. I saw people were chasing each other and not far near me there was a Chinese old man who was assaulted by some young Malays. I led the boys to those steps and asked them to sit down just in front of the door. I told them to throw away the flags and the buntings and to sit down there. Then I went into the building. Fortunately, there was a telephone still in working order. So I phoned the Prime Minister, Lee Kuan Yew, and told him what had happened. But by then, the fighting had already started, with Malays and Chinese attacking each other. The violence had quickly spread from Kalang to Geylang, and then to other parts of the island. And one person who had a close shave was Haji Aliman, who was driving home from work that day. Bila sampai ke Victoria, saya nampak beberapa orang pemuda Cina dengan batang cangkul, dengan parang, dengan apa mencari orang Melayu di dalam bas atau dalam teksi. Ya? Jauh lagi saya tukar program kereta saya radio seperti kereta saya dari program uh, Melayu ke program Mandarin. Tiba-tiba saya dapat itu inspirasi, saya tukar. Jadi bila saya jalan pelan-lahan sampai ke pemuda-pemuda itu, mereka tahan saya. Mereka fikir saya orang Cina kerana wajah saya seperti orang Cina. Jadi mereka tanya saya dalam bahasa Hokkien. Oleh kerana saya tidak begitu fasih dalam bahasa Hokkien, saya jawab, saya jawab dalam bahasa Cantonese. So mereka tanya saya, ah, lihat kita tolak. So I, saya jawab dalam bahasa Cantonese, my fun okay. Then, hai pin si, lihat hai pin si ci, tinggal di mana eh? Uh, saya jawab, ngoh hai uh, jalan Sultan Ci. Then dia, dia mereka kata lagi, I move fun okay lah, hutong malah yang tak tong yang lah. Uh, so sa, uh, saya jawab lagi, uh, busung kau lah. Kau tak hilang juga, kau ke pangyau, kau tak sek tak ngoh. Kau tak keng lah. Kau tak fighting, 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 hoi lah. So I, saya masuk, gear kereta saya, cepat-cepat lari lah. Kalau tidak kena pukul, mati kat situ. Despite a curfew, violence continued across the island. In all, 23 people lost their lives, with more than 450 injured. Madam C still remembers the scenes that played outside her shuttered windows. Suspicion and fear hung heavily in the air. A lot of hard work had to be put in to ease the tension after the riots. In the, in the, the kampongs, uh, the Chinese and Li families who have been living side by side as neighbors for decades protected each other during the uh, during the riots well this was very good but still i think you know uh, at that time there was still a little bit of uh, fear uh, between the two communities a few weeks before the racial riots malaysian politicians had told the malay community here that they were denied their rights and privileges we Malays in Singapore have for a very long time been suppressed and oppressed. No force in this world can trample us down. Not one Lee Kuan Yew, a thousand Lee Kuan Yew, we finished them all. The speeches stirred up emotions, and it didn't take much to provoke a riot, which was exactly what happened. The lessons that we learned was that we have to uh, build up social cohesion this is very important and we have to maintain our racial harmony among our multiracial population and we should not allow others to play 
on these very sensitive issues of race and religion.